story here. This comes out of, let me pull this up here though. Uh, let's see. Yeah. We got our first story here. This comes out of uh, CNN business. All right. Now, um, Apple, Apple is the company that you guys know who makes the iPhone, the iPad, the iMac, all these different Apple branded products, the Apple watch, uh, the, uh, the AirPods and stuff like that. Apple has decided that they are going to get off their ass and join the rest of the world and add RCS messaging to iMessage. Yeah, man, they're going to finally do it. They're going to finally do it. And um, it's about goddamn time. It's about damn time. So we're going to read a little bit of this story here. This comes out of CNN.com or CNN Business. And it says, uh, the longstanding battle over the iOS blue bubble and Android's green text bubbles will soon take more of a friendly turn. Apple announced on Thursday plans to adopt a messaging standard that will finally bring iMessage features to Android users, eroding what some consider the element of Apple's wall guarding. Okay, so off top, I got a problem with how they fuck they worded this, right? <laughs> off top, I got a problem with how they worded this. They said uh, Apple announced the changes on, th uh, on Thursday plans to adopt messaging standard that will finally bring iMessage features to Android users. Listen, niggas. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> we already had this shit. Apple ain't bringing nothing to Android users at all. Okay? They not bringing us shit, nigga. They not bringing us a motherfucking thing. Like that they just not. What they are doing is they are joining the rest of the fucking world as to how messaging is happening, right? SMS messaging, MMS messaging is a dated technology. It, and this is why when you decide if you have an Apple phone, if you have an Android, I'm, I'm sorry, if you have a uh, an iPhone and you want to send a video to a uh, a person who has an Android phone via text messaging or MMS messaging, the reason why it looks like shit is because Apple reverts to MMS, which compresses the videos to nothing which is why the videos look like shit by the time it gets to that other person's phone. Same thing with the pictures. They compress it to shit. And then they send that out because the SMS and MMS is uh, it's, it's old and it's dated technology. And so one of the reasons why Apple kept not using RCS was because they knew that that was one of the um, that was one of the things that kind of kept a lot of lock in for people to buy iPhones. Right. As a matter of fact, I remember uh, it was only like maybe a year ago. There was a tech journalist who was uh, at an Apple event and he said, that, like, listen, man, I'd be wanting to send my mother videos and pictures. But, you know, she has an Android phone and it's hard for her to receive this because the, the quality goes down by the time she gets it. And you know what Tim Cook told this motherfucker? You need to buy your mama an Android. Phone, I mean, an Apple phone. And so this has been a thing for a while only because Apple has made it a thing for a while. And I know like, you know, y'all know your boy Span is an Android guy. I've been Android from the beginning. I had the first fucking Android phone. I had the G1. I've been Android from day one. Okay. I had the G1 phone on T-Mobile. The thing is, and um, Apple has done this thing where they have pretty much established their, their brand as a luxury brand. Right. And, you have people who believe, who genuinely believe that the reason why people have Android phones is because they can't afford iPhones. And I say this as a nigga who, who, <laughs> hey man, this phone right here, this, I got a, I got a Google Pixel uh, Fold, right? Google Pixel Fold. This boy got like, you know, it's got a regular screen on it and shit. And then I can fold this bitch out. It's got like another 7.6 inch screen on the inside, right? This phone was 1800 bucks. Right. It isn't that Android people can't afford fucking phones, man. <laughs> like y'all need to come off of that. The other part about it is this. Right. Um, and I never forget this. And I, and this is part of the reason why, like, I know there's a uh, there's this thing with with young folks where uh, I remember when my daughter was younger, she was probably about 10, 11 years old. Right. And at the time I was trying to instill in my daughter the idea. I'm like, yo, baby, you got to be a leader. You got to think for yourself. You can't necessarily follow the crowd about everything, right? You want to, sometimes you got to stand on what you believe in. If you think something is cool, then damn it is cool, right? And I could say that at the time as like a father who's like 30 something years old and he wants his child to like, you know, have her own mind and, 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 and blaze her own path and all these other things, right? 
but I'll never forget this because at the time my baby had a she had an Android phone. I forget the brand at the time, but she had an Android phone. And um I can remember her asking me for her birthday, could I get her an iPhone? Right. And I was like, well, what's wrong with your phone, baby? Like your phone works pretty damn good. Like you can message, you could you you can do all this stuff that iPhone can do off of your phone. I didn't get it. Right. I didn't get it. But my, but my baby was coming to me like, Daddy, can you just give me an iPhone? Can you get me an iPhone? And, you know, I, at the time, I'm still like, but your shit is better than that iPhone. Right. And I'll never forget this. We were at Dave and Buster's for her birthday and she was at a table with all her little girlfriends. And that's when it clicked for me. All her little girlfriends had iPhones. Right. And she was feeling as though she was being left out because her little girlfriends was bullying her about the fact that her messages were turning up green in the group chat and they would break the group chat again because Apple purposefully did this, <laughs> right? And so they would leave her out of stuff and so my baby was feeling left out. Now I can talk all the shit I want about being a leader and standing on your own and everything else. As a 30 something year old person, yeah, that resonates with me. It's hard to get that to resonate with a kid that's like 10, 11, 12, 13 years old. They just want to be a part of the crowd. They want to be a part of their group. They want to be in their tribe. And so I relented and then I got my baby an iPhone. She's been an iPhone user ever since, right? But the reason why Apple for the longest time has resisted the idea of using RCS or any sort of like other text messaging uh, protocol has been because they knew that if they didn't, then people would sometimes not even just the bullying, but they were just like, well, fuck it. I'll just go get an iPhone because everybody else got an iPhone. And just about, I think they said like eight and 10 teenagers, young people tend to use iPhones, right? And, you know, even now I send iMessages on my Android phone. I've been using a, uh, an app called Beeper for the better part of the last year now. I've been able to send iMessages from my phone for the better part of the last year. Uh, I, I remember I trolled my daughter a little bit because I text messaged her from my, you know, from the app. And she was like, daddy, you got an iPhone? And I'm like, come on, baby, you know better. <laughs> right come on baby you know better but um yeah man so apple has finally decided to jump on this protocol and so going forward one would think that like yo so now you can send higher quality videos you can send higher quality pictures you will get your read receipts you will get the notifications that somebody is responding to you with the with the three dots and everything else all this stuff was already on android it's now coming to you to have apple and, you know, whenever you text somebody who has an Android phone, all of those things that you were complaining about, it fixes it for y'all, right? It fixes it for y'all. We already had this shit. And the other part about this is like, I've, still, I've been on threads and stuff like that. And to see people be upset that Apple is doing this, it's like, bro, like, why would you be upset that they are making it available for you to communicate better with people who don't have the same phone as you? Unless, of course, you thought that you having this phone was a status thing. And, you know, there's that. But, yeah, man, Apple has defined, has finally decided to join the rest of the world, get on the RCS tip. I mean, they finally got the USB-C for the iPhone, only because Europe was making them do it, though. Only because Europe was making them do it. But they finally have gotten off the bullshit. And now, you know, starting next year, hopefully we can stop talking about this blue bubble, green bubble shit, you know, especially if they all doing essentially the same goddamn thing, man. Right? Right? Bottom line, I hope your phone is working for you. Real talk. I hope your phone is working for you. That's all I got to say about that. <laughs> all right. Well, let's move on to another topic, man. 